Hey guys, got another solar panel video today. This is a question. This is a this this video is gonna cover a lot of different things. One of the questions I get asked a lot is about solar charging your e-bikes, and this is gonna be another option for that. There's many ways to skin a cat, although I don't recommend that, as you know. I'm an animal lover. So I'm gonna go over this. This is a solar paneled solar generator. So it's just like a gas powered one, except this runs off of a battery in there. I'm gonna go over, you know, the pros and cons of going with a system like this. And, you know, obviously other things that you could use this off of. What, what else you can power this with. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I am an e-bike enthusiast, solar panel enthusiast. Everything sustainability, trying to use less stuff. So if you're into stuff like that, check out my other videos. Today we are going to be showing, this is the, it's O-U-P-E-S. So obviously it's probably pronounced Aupes, Aupes, or something like that. So this is a good, this is a way to solar charge anything. You could solar charge your e-bike on this. This thing weighs about 15 pounds, I would say. It's small, it's got a handle. You can see how the size of it. This would be good for setting up a camp. Like if you were going on a long bike packing trip, you, this would be set at your base camp. I would set this up while you're out riding, charging this up, and then at night, deplete this battery, you know, plug in your, your charger here, and then charge your uh, e-bike battery. Obviously, there is a little bit of loss with this system going from DC that comes in this and then transferring it for out to AC. There's definitely efficiency loss in that. But what this is, this is for convenience. This is definitely a nice, easy, convenient way to do this. You're going to pay for it, though. This is 750 bucks for a 100-watt solar panel that unfolds. You can see it's pretty big. But this will do 100 watts max. I bet you, you know, if you're living in Phoenix, it'll probably do a little bit more in the summer. I've, I've had 100 watt solar panels. They'll actually put out like 110. They'll overcharge at max. The battery in here is rated at 600 watt hours. And I think this puts out 600 watts max. So if you have anything that draws over pretty much six amps at 110 volts, it won't power it. Um, and that would charge for about an hour, given 600 watt hours. It also has two USB ports. Um, actually, I take that back. Two USB normal charge, and then that little like USB-C port. Also has a 12 volt port here. And it looks like it's got two little barrel plugs here too, as you could also plug into. And you just switch the power source by, by pressing here. So now it's on AC, now it's on here, now it's on there. Um, it'll give you the state of charge here, what it's left at, how many hours it'll last for while you're charging. So if I had my, my uh, that's really a nice feature. If I was plugging in my e-bike charger, it would tell me how many hours left this, this thing has to give at the current rate. It'll also tell you, and I'll plug this in here in a second, and it'll actually show you how many watts it's currently bringing in. But when it's set to output, it'll tell you how many watts it's going out. So you can see here, I have it. It's a super overcast day here and it's in the winter. So it's not really doing much. Right now it shows input three or four watts. I'm not surprised. It's super overcast out there. Um, but if you did this in the day, I've, I've gotten it up to about 60 watts um, here in the winter. That's still pretty good. Like I said, in the summer, it will do more. But it is kind of cool. It'll show you how many watts you're actually pulling in. So you know if you need to like change the solar panel or whatever, change the angle. And it is nice that that comes in a four section thing. So you could always kind of accord, like not according out, but kind of have it set up so that as the sun goes, it'll always have at least one of the solar panels. So yeah, you could use this for solar charging. If you wanted to do it while riding, you'd probably have to have either a big rear rack to hold this because this is pretty heavy and a little bit bigger or have like a rear cargo carrier that you could actually put this in and then, you know, charge and ride. Um, otherwise, I think the better system would be using this for home home base to charge your bike after you get back to camp. And I actually used this recently when I went from Salt Lake City to Portland with my wife who was breastfeeding and we had to run a breastfeeding pump off of AC in the car ride there. And we actually used this to run her little breast pump, which used 25 watts so that thing took nothing off of this. Could have ran this for probably three days straight. And we actually have some footage of her breastfeeding now. 
Oh, never mind. So she won't let me show that actually. And I did also want to mention that there's the charge port here. This can be charged either by solar panel, uh, by your car, 12 volt. That's what we were charging while we were doing our road trip. Or you could plug it into your household outlet and you know get this topped off before your trip. There is also a little flashlight back here, which might be helpful at camp. Got different levels of brightness and flasher in case you're on the side of the road or something and you need to be safe. But yeah, this is a cool little system. Obviously you're gonna pay for it at 750 watt bucks. It's a lot more expensive than if you were to cobble something together um, like my other videos I've done in. But this is a, this you're paying for the convenience right here. If you want something with all the different ports and a nice handle with a warranty and a foldable you know, solar panel, this is definitely something to consider uh, getting. I definitely like, you know, if you're somebody who's off grid or away from, away from everything, this could be a, a, a viable source. As long as you keep in mind that it's 600 watt hours, which means if you have something that draws hundred Watts, this will power it for six hours and it'll also put out 600 Watts. So, you know, it's probably not going to run a refrigerator for all night, but it will run, you know, it'll run a TV for probably six hours even like a big LED TV. Keep in mind of what you're looking for. They do have different size capacity ones like this and there's different brands and manufacturers and all that. But this is just another solar option out there. But if you're into other solar options, check out my other videos. I got a playlist all about solarness. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Later guys.